Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the commodities market and the precious metals market for Thursday, December 24th, 2020. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us on our Patreon. The link is down below. So uh, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied towards the 20 exponential yet again, as we have done several times in the past, and it is still holding. And usually when that happens, we break down even further. So if we manage to break down below these previous lows, which is at 89.64, then we are going significantly lower. And that appears to be what is happening here. So we broke down quite substantially today, pulled back a little bit, but still, this is quite a warning sign for this market. Uh, many of the indicators are still bullish, for example, the MACD and the stochastic, but the uh, CCI is basically turning around. It's at minus 74 at this point. When it hits a minus 100, that is a big warning sign for this, and it will go significantly lower. There is some room to the downside. We're at 38, uh, 38 at this point, and um, that means that we were, we're above the oversold level. So we could see this market go significantly lower. That, of course, will have a bullish effect on the indices. It will have a bullish effect on the stocks and uh, commodities, precious metals, and so on. So pay attention what happens to the US dollar. It has an enormous effect on other markets as well. So let's look at oil. So oil rallied significantly today. This was, uh, how can you say it? Fairly obvious what was going to happen here. I have not been paying that much attention to uh, the commodities market at this point uh, because I've been trading indices and uh, foreign exchange and so on because there's so much action there. So usually I put you know, some things aside and commodities has been the thing that's been put aside. But if I were trading, I would definitely be trading commodities. I would definitely be focusing on what basically was happening right here because the 20 exponential is basically acting as the bottom of this market. So every time we get close to the 20 exponential, that is basically a sign that we are going to go significantly higher. Technical indicators for this market are turning around. So that is a very positive sign. So even though this commodity shouldn't be rising as it is, because demand in the world economy is not the same as it was prior to the coronavirus, um, then it is still rising. I think that we are going to see um, in the short run a, a target of the $50 range. And we most likely will have a pullback when we get to the $50 to the $20, $51 range. Uh, so be prepared for that. But this is a very encouraging sign for oil, the oil market that we rally such substantially at the 20 exponential moving average. Yes. So no interest in basically shortening this at the moment until we basically break below the 20 exponential and head towards the 50, then are we basically considering whether or not to enter this market. But at this point, 20 is basically the floor at this market. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we have fallen, well, uh, more than 5% today. And this is a very, very, very negative sign for this market. So, I expected this market to rally because of the colder conditions in the United States, but no. This looks like we are going to, first of all, going back towards 2.5. And if this level here breaks, these previous lows here, if that breaks, then we're heading all the way down to 2.28. So just below, above that 200 moving average. And after that, we most likely see a turnaround up towards the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. But this is a really, really big warning sign that this market is not going to rally at this point, but is instead going to fall. And uh, the right trade is to basically wait until it gets towards this level here in order in to buy into this market, because this should be massive support here. Taking the indicators for for natural gas are looking uh, fairly dreadful at this point. CCI is very negative, the RSI is never negative, and the other indicators are also turning around. So expect this market basically to fall further. We could rally up towards the 20 exponential, 
but that is basically a selling opportunity towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. So we have found yet again support here at 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, we are going to turn around towards these very highs. Technical indicators for copper are turning around. That is a very positive sign. We could stake around this area for, for a few trading days, but uh, this looks like a very um, significant support area. You can see also what happened over here. And we have the 20 exponential and we have a, this massive pullback. Uh, above the 20 exponential so it is fair to say that we are most likely going to rally from here and the first target would be 3.6447 so let's look at gold so gold has rallied yet again today we found support at the 20 exponential we are rallying above the 50 and we are basically above the 50 or ended above the 50 moving uh, moving average and that is a very encouraging sign to the upside we are still in this uh, triangle and uh, as long as that is the case uh, there is no reason to enter this market whatsoever so we have this upper resistance line we have this lower support line and uh, what we're most likely going to see is just continuation towards this upper part get rejected like we did three trading days ago, head back towards this lower part and then go above this resistance line. In the long run, of course, I am very bullish on gold because there's going to be a lot of uh, stimulus spending, a lot of uh, expansionary monetary policy and all of that has a bullish effect on gold. But at this point, there's no reason to enter this market uh, before we basically crack this resistance line here and head towards 1900 and 2000 and 2100. Otherwise, we're just going to see a continuation of back and forwards in this market. So let's look at silver. So silver has rallied yet again today. We have a fairly steep resistant line here which is going most likely going to be the new uh, no i mean support line are going to be the new support line for silver so underneath here we have the 20 exponential we have the 50 moving average and it looks like we're just going to bounce off this um, support line for the foreseeable future until we go and test this area here this is of course very steep it should probably be a little bit more like that but at this point, this is where we're trading. These two bottoms are basically what we're trading at. So at this point, technical indicators are still looking dreadful. The stochastic is negative. The CCI is there turning negative and the RSI is flat. And uh, the MACD is still above the signal line. So, so it's difficult to say where we're going. I think a test of this support line and the 20 exponential and a pullback from here would be the best indication that this market is going to go higher. No, it's just basically uh, shorting this because this is looking, it looks like we're just going to make higher lows at this point. So let's look at platinum. As you can see, we have rallied above the 20 exponential moving average. This is looking really good for platinum um, at this point i think that we're going to target these previous highs which is at 1.057 and uh, the reason why i say that is because the 20 exponential of course is holding we are trading above it and these technical indicators are not they have not turned around but they are turning around so so they're still bearish so we may see a little bit of choppiness here but when these indicators start to turn around, for example, the stochastic cross the signal line here, that is an indication that we are ready to go significantly higher. No, it's just basically shorting this at this point um, because it has. This basically has shown that uh, roughly 1.00 is the very bottom of this market, and that is basically a buying opportunity. So let's look at pallium. Pallium. Palladium. We have rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then broken down again. And we're trading just underneath the 20 exponential moving average. 
if I were to make a bet here, then I would favor the upside because, well, most of these indicators are still out of flat, but the start count is the CCI is basically turning around at this point. Otherwise, it is fairly hopeless to trade this commodity at this point because we are basically in the middle of nowhere. So we have this top, we have this bottom, and we're basically right in the middle. If we break above the 250 moving average, start trading above that, then we'll target this resistance line. If we get rejected there, then it's possible to sell it all the way down to this uh, area here, this support line. But it is at the moment just doing more of the same. We're just trading sideways in the middle of nowhere. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have tried to rally in, our, in this market above the 20 exponential and then broken down again, and we're still trading underneath the 20 exponential. And as long as that is the case, then I will not expect this market to rally to the upside. We need to trade above the 20 exponential, basically end with a green candlestick right above the 20 exponential before we could expect this market to go significantly higher. Technical indicators are still very bearish at this point. CCI is starting to look uh, promising, but other indicators are still very bearish. So a, um, a rally above the 20 exponential, that opens the door to these previous highs. A break below here opens the door to the 50 moving average. We have seen these kinds of move in the past. Right here was one of them. Also down here was also one of them. So the 20 exponential or a breakdown below that has been um, um, a, basically a, a starting point for a much bigger rally. So just keep that in mind. But we could also break towards the 50 at this point. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly all the way down to the 15 moving average and then rallied again, but we're still trading underneath the, 15, the 20 exponential moving average. So this is a big move, but still not a very encouraging one if you think that this market is going to go higher. I think that we're going to see another pullback towards the 50. And then when these technical indicators are, are turning around, then it is possible basically to buy into this market. That is what I think is going to occur. So um, 16 is probably the, is basically the bottom of this market. And, um, and uh, if we can get close towards the 50 moving average and a turnaround of these indicators, then definitely that is a target for 17.840. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has rallied, and this is looking now very promising. Uh, we are, we um, ended the trade above uh, the 50 moving average, which is very good. If we get another uh, uh, green candlestick here tomorrow session, um, that means that we are going to go to the all-time highs here. So technical indicators have turned around. They're all looking very bullish at this point, even though uh, MACD has crossed the signal line. So Keep this in mind, this could go significantly higher. No interest in basically shorting this at, the point, at this point. If we manage to rally again tomorrow, that is a very encouraging sign that we're going to test these previous highs at 0 0.1559. So let's look at uh, Kaufman. As you can see, we have rallied quite significantly to the upside. Um, these second indicators are turning around, um, CCI, RSI, uh, MACD is still bullish, but the stochastic is still bearish at this point. I think that we're going to have a little bit of a pullback um, in uh, the next session, and then we are going to build the necessary momentum in order to take out this top here. Otherwise, we could also rally towards this, uh, these highs and take them out. There is a massive amount of support here at the 20 exponential, and uh, that has been supported for a very long time. We can go all the way back here. 20 exponential has basically been the bottom of this market. So that is the buying opportunity for this market. So let's look at Kakoa. As you can see that we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential, broken down again, and now we're trading in between the 50 and the 20 exponential. Um, 
it is fairly likely that we are going to see a turnaround here. That is what this looks like. If we manage to break the 20 exponential trade above it here, that opens the door to this very high zero at 2.814. These technical indicators have turned around, so that is a clear indication that we most likely will see something similar to this. 50 moving average will travel this way, the 20 will travel this way, and but we need a break above the 20. At the moment, it is acting as resistant and not as support. So let's look at wheat. Yes, we have really taken off in the wheat market today. We are trading at 630. And at this point, it's only these previous highs here that are um, resistant. Um, it is fairly parabolical. We probably see a pullback, uh, a little bit of pullback before we continue higher. But this is a very encouraging sign for this market. Um, it is not possible to enter this market for a buy at this point. You should have entered it here or in the early today, yesterday's session in order to get this rally here. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me and ask if you have any questions about these trades. Um, otherwise, good luck and Merry Christmas.